a, a lot of farmers, I guess, go on gut feel, but the, having local research really helps back up that gut feel and, and, and gives, I guess, you a bit of an idea of which way you might want to go with your operation and reinforces a few things that uh, you can take on board and use in your system and, and maybe disprove some things that are out there. So, yeah, it's, it's really important. It's very hard to get all three machines here in, on the one day. In fact, this is probably the first time that's happened for years. My name is Matt Dare and I farm just up the road, about 15 kilometres at Morale in the foothills of the Clare Valley. Yeah, we, uh, we're continuous cropping, all, all cropping. Um, we grow a range of crops um, from um, a little bit of durum wheat but quite a bit of bread wheat, malt barley, um, canola and um, beans and lentils. So mine's a pretty common seeding system. It's uh, knife points, 16mm um, knife points with a press wheel. Um, it's a Flexicore 5000 um, uh, bar and uh, it's on 10 inch row spacing. We've got um, quite heavy cracking clays which get very sticky um, when they get wet and um, and so we've sort of opted with the knife point press wheel at this stage. Um, not to say that would change down the future, but at this stage that's the way we're going and we've had good results um, in terms of stubble handling and, and um, uh, crop emergence, I guess. And it's a, just a, it seems to be a pretty flexible sort of system for us. Yeah, I've seen this treatment, um, which is the no-till treatment, I suppose, or knife point press wheel treatment on the cropping systems trial. Um, I'm not sure, maybe a dozen times before. So uh, I think it varies a little bit. Um, some years, um, some of the other treatments might be slightly better. Quite often, there's no difference. But it really has probably, in the la in the last few years, come down to when it, when the treatment was sown. So it's more almost a time of sowing. But yeah, I think. Um, they all compare fairly favourably. Tom Robinson, Robinson Farms from Hoyleton, cropping about 4,200 acres. So we grow wheat and canola. Uh, we've been playing around with some sunflowers and cover crops. So today we've been sowing the cropping systems trial, where I've sown it for the last four years. Um, and basically I'm doing the zero till uh, plots, and that's all been wrapped with a stripper front. And then I sow into the stubble with my disc. So we run a John Deere 1890, a fairly common uh, disc seeder. It's been heavily modified with some attachments like a spoke closer wheel, a different gauge wheel, different seed lock wheel and a seed tab. Those improvements just add to the benefit of the disc. Uh, we're also running a 10.16 control traffic system and that suits very well with our, disc, with our zero till. So we've been using this disc now for the last 14 years. So my grandfather and father purchased this and the reason they purchased it was they wanted to get through more stubble. It was simply for that and then all the other benefits around seed placement and getting through more stubble and then we uh, we went to control traffic and we brought the stripper front. So really it's been the disc that's been the un underpinning of our farm. We range from a, a light sand uh, and we got some loam over loam clays and then we move into a uh, a Hoylton red cracking clay that turns into concrete and it's a true Sunday soil. It's too wet on a Saturday and it's too dry on a Monday. Uh, and it's actually those soils, those red sticky hard concrete soils where we've seen the improvement of the full stubble retention and zero till. We did have 90 mil in April and we've had another 40 mil in May. So, and we've been going into um, two years of strip wheat stubble. So yeah, it's been fantastic seeding conditions. It's probably one of the the best seedings into moisture we've ever had. It's always interesting to come up and sow side by side. I think it's one of the highlights of seeding actually. We're finished and we get to come up here and, and see the different seeding systems that other farmers use. Research needs to be 20 years ahead of where the common practice farmer is. And if this can aid in, uh, in the research of what Hart's doing, then absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, coming up here and, and doing this trial for hard, I, I hope it keeps going for another 10 or 15 years. That's where I think we'll see the benefit of the zero till.